Hi boys and girls, my name is Miss Hannah. Welcome back to day six of our um, summer program. We are now talking about people of the world this week. So yesterday we talked about China and now today we are talking about Mexico. So today we are going to make Aztec sundials, okay? So let me tell you a little bit of the Aztecs and like our why we're making sundials and stuff today. So um, I have my information right here. So it says not only does the sun give us warmth and it helps plants grow, but it can also help us tell time. So we are going to make our sundials today. So the sundial helps tell time. That's how they were able to tell time back then when we they didn't have clocks or even a cell phone or watches to on their wrist to look at. Um, but the Aztecs, so these are, that's what the people were known as, the Aztecs. Um, they were very brilliant and smart people. They taught us so much of what we know about the earth and the world around us. So um, if you want to learn more about the Aztec people, then um, have a parent or somebody at home to help you um, research them if you really want to know more about them. Um, but yeah, we are just going to dive into our activity today. And this is what you will need. You will need a paper plate a sketch piece of paper, so a white piece of paper, a pencil, a popsicle stick, the thicker one. So I know you might have some thinner ones in your kit, but you need the thicker one. Model magic, scissors, and glue. Okay. So sundials help tell time as I, as I just said. Okay. So let me show you what my sundial looks like. So here's my example. Okay. I did not draw my design. So I'm going to give you some options on how um, to make your design or what to do for your design. So um, as you know, we provided you with a white piece of paper and then you need to find a pencil of some sort. But you can either um, take your paper plate and trace the circle with your pencil and then take it off and then draw a design within that however you like and color it however you like or if you want it to be more of the culture um, with the Aztecs then you can either um, I recommend looking up images online so um, I am going to show you what I typed in word for word into Google um, images to find the design that I found and they had more options than this. I just really liked this one and I thought it was really easy and um, to color and it was fun. Okay. So this is what you can look up for the designs. So I looked up Aztec symbols coloring page. So when you type that into Google and click images, you're going to have a lot of images popped up. So if you have access to a printer, which I have a printer at my home, so that's why I was able to just print it off and um, color it and glue it onto my paper plate. But if you do not have a printer at home, you can um, still trace this plate with your pencil and then look up one of these images and try to copy it within that circle, okay? It's okay if it's not perfect. Um, because I know when I was trying to draw these, it wasn't perfect, but I thought, I'm like, well, I have a printer at home, I can do it. So, um, it was just what I felt was best for me to make this project. But, um, as you said too, it, like, as I said, it doesn't even have to be Aztec related. It can be, um, like really anything you want on this sundial. Um, it's, it's, a, it's important that you like how it turns out because, it's really cool to see and like it's a, one of those crafts that you get to keep. So um, after you make your design, you're going to take your glue and you're going to um, like color out or well, I'm getting ahead of myself. So before you even glue your design, you need to cut it out with your scissors. Okay. And then you glue it onto your paper plate. Okay. And then I let it dry for a few minutes just to make sure that it was on there good and it won't move. And then I took some model magic. Okay. I took model magic 
and you don't need a lot for this. I only used about this much. And then I kind of messed around with it and molded it into this shape. And then I pressed it right in the middle of my sundial. Okay. So right in the middle, just like um, if you look at clock hands on an analog clock, it's right in the middle. That's how, where they're attached at. So I pressed it in there and then I took my popsicle stick and then I placed it vertically. So vertically means it's the popsicle sticks going up and down like this way. So put it vertically and I molded it to make sure it still stayed around in this. Okay. And then, so what the difference between horizontal and vertical. So if you placed it horizontally, it won't work, but this is what horizontal looks like. Okay. Horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical. Okay. So you want it vertical, so up and down. So then, um, after you do that, your sundial is complete. So I'm going to try to show you what this looks like. It's kind of hard to do it on camera, but um, to test it out, you can go outside on a sunny day and it will um, show um, a shadow um, of your popsicle stick on somewhere on this sundial. So I'm going to use my um, cell phone flashlight. So if you don't know how to um, get to your flashlight, all you got to do is you got to just swipe up on an iPhone and then click the flashlight and you can see it just flashed. Okay. And it's on. So this is kind of similar to what the sun does. Okay. So see the shadow. And then if I move, so the sun moves throughout the day because it, um, sun, the sun sets and, it sun, and the sun rises. So do you see how the shadow is moving? That is what helps the, I mean, that's what helps the Aztecs tell time. So as you can see, it moves around. So that was my activity for you guys today. I hope that you found this interesting. And if you research the Aztec people, and if you had a fun fact that you would like to share in our Google meeting next time we meet, um, just let um, us know. And I'm interested to see what you guys learned about them if you chose to research them. Um, and I hope that you get to see your sundials too, either through pictures and sending them to Miss Jordan or to, um, or just sharing us on our Google meeting that we have every day at one. So that was all that I have for you guys today, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow we are talking about um, India, so I'm excited for that. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.